Shout the commenter nation. It's your boy Zara All Rice Reserve. You know, I gave a little break for me to look over some things. Now we're back at it. And yes, I believe everyone that's getting Cleo's appearance should pay for it. I believe anyone that's interacting with Cleo should actually give her the respect that her son earned. The same way you pay Tintashian to get on a song is the same way you should pay the mother to show up and give that energy. You know, we can tell if it was authentic love between you and Tintashian, being that his songs are limited to certain people who I have not seen her show up, and even they should pay for her presence. Yeah, if we're going to talk about business and money, because same way you pay an artist, pay the mother to show up. That shouldn't be for free. But here's what we need to talk about. Now, what could have been a potential strife between the mastermind and Tintashian? Think about this. It's actually very simple if you think about it in detail. Now, the problem is that this mastermind cannot be identified. Neither can his motives, whether it was money, whether it was something to gain, whether it was the push forward. Now, currently, I'm looking at a few individuals that are directly around him, not members, not groups, not artists, not people making songs, but people who sat behind the scenes. Two have stuck out to me. One was a manager. The other was an executive producer. To that executive producer, we're not going to use names. I've been looking at your responses on Reddit.com. Yes, that happened before the murder and different things, before the issue when it was first being mentioned about this Adam uh, album you called question mark when someone asked you what the name was so you know I'm being authentic I seen all the questions that were being asked but that was smart to do it at a time before the album actually dropped and he was long gone that was smart to do it that way because certain questions should have got asked of you but look Zara's gonna try and reach out to you guys before I actually include you in this but let's talk about motives Yes, there was value in some way, shape, or form. We don't know if it was for the mastermind. In my opinion, the value came from those directly involved, and there was not money that was the issue. Let's say that it was a choice. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by it was a choice? Let's say because Tentacion is an independent soul, independent spirit and mind, that he was not moving how others wanted him to move. Yep. Yep. He wasn't moving how other people insisted he move for their benefit. That means that he may have been interfering with other business that was going on because of how he wanted to do things. Because remember, he's a creator. The rest of the people around him, they aren't creative like that. They edit, they do different things, they're talented, they're skilled, but as far as making the music, they are not implemented. They are not involved except giving opinions they do not come up with the creative idea that is why his name is in the forefront and a producer or someone else who's editing video or anything else would be on the back this would make the most sense because the value is not simply in what's put out it's in the branding it's in the marketing it's in the establishment of a foundation these are key things you'll learn when you go to look at businesses on how to maximize these different things to be a staple. You get what that means? When you're a staple in the community, you're a staple in the game, your name sells things. It doesn't really matter what you do. Your presence sells things. The same way why I said if Cleo showing up, people need to pay her because she created the creative artist. That's why people are bringing her the same way you pay this artist. You need to pay her. That's the ideology behind it. So no one say anything about her. If she's charging them to show up, she should because she's a businesswoman. She could be anywhere else, but she's giving time to be with these people who owe her that. Now, that's my thing. A lot of people can't comprehend that. But if you were creating your own business and you were being someone that was instrumental in doing business, you'd fully understand this. You'd fully get it. It would make more sense, especially when you're looking at how businesses work. Now, whose business was thought to have been affected by decisions he was making because they wanted his brand, his name, everything he stood for to be a part of it so they could expand their business, their name, and their monetary value. 
See, monetary value is not just of all for money. And if you learned anything, you would know money is not really value. The value is in the ability to continually get money. Do you get that? I need people who aren't really there to get with me. It's not in the money itself. It's in the ability to get money. That is where the value is. It's not in the fact someone hands me a thousand dollars once or a hundred thousand dollars once. It is that I am able to create that over and over and over and over. Most people call it residual income, which is the best type of business you can be involved in. But you have to build the receptacles to bring in the income in that way and then be able to scale it. That is the way a very solid business is made. And that is the type of businesses that make millionaires. Understand that it's not about getting a million dollars once. So with this ideology, let's think of a contract. Let's think of a contract. Someone can sit there and say they're going to hand me a million dollars or two million dollars. But if I don't have the ability to make that yearly or scale that up to making 10 million to 50 million, it's really not an opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime chance. And that's what most people aim for. That is why people who build it from the bottom up gain most power and should be respected because it's hard to get these type of opportunities to make it happen that way. Because once I do it once, I never have to go through the trouble of doing it again and again and again. And that's the whole ideology of why Ten Tashian was ahead of his time. Now, a lot of people say it because a lot of different reasons, but I'm telling you today, he was ahead of his time because he saw this. He wasn't, he was no slump. He's seen that in order for me to increase my worth, in order for me to make sure my family's well off, I have to have business that repeats itself and brings the value over and over and over, not just builds to a level and then taps out. Because we can get $10 million once, but if I'm unable to keep bringing that back and if I can't have control of masters or anything else that shows the value that I've created, then ultimately, I'm going to be back at square one. Now, see it this way. If he was thinking this way and there were deals and different things that were around him and opportunities handed to him that he did not like, what if... A manager or a producer wanted the one-time chance of them making it because they aren't the talent, but he didn't want to choose it, and they were upset at the fact he would not go that route because he again saw the bigger picture. He saw his brand and saw that I need bigger opportunity. And me being an independent spirit in mind is going to make me work more worthwhile while someone else who was close to the circle did not like that idea. They were like, I want this million dollars now because they never saw money like that. Independent, he saw money like that. Working hard through his charities and different things he did, he saw this type of money. But they never did. So would that not hurt their feelings that they never saw this type of money, but he has? Think about that. I, I, I was, remember, wolves and dogs, he's the top dog. A wolf was like, no way. No way you're not you're going to be settled for that plate because they were settling for what he was allowing them to have, which was their worth. But we know your worth. Why won't you let me get what you have? That type of ideology literally leads to wolves being spawned in the situations to affect the top dog. Understand it. It's a manner of thinking. It's a manner of action as well, because this thought could have led them to act on their hatred. This thought alone could have led to deeper motives. This is what would lead to a setup type scenario. This is the type of stuff that would lead to individuals who aren't part of the circle initially finding value in the scenario because now that he's gone, I could put out anything. All I have to do is get express permission from some type of management or label that's there. But if we're presuming that it included some type of manager or producer, they had rights to stuff that had his name on it then because he was no longer there to say, no, you can't do that. And that is how value would have been gained. It's not gained off of what he was worth. Yeah, others gained off of his worth, 
But these guys gained off of losing a partner that could put pull the plug on things they had moving forward using his name. And they wouldn't be held accountable for using his name because he's no longer there to take claim to his name. And you got to understand, family only gets so much understanding and access to these individuals who are going to use his name because they're judged off of different factors. And if there was no body who was knowledgeable about these type of deals, there was no one to stop it. That is why I'm looking deeper into the possibility. Could some type of management or producer have gained some value on the backside with his going? Now, their value gain, we're looking at the fact he signed a $10 million deal. Their value on the backside gain could have been a, a mil, a couple mil, a couple hundred thousand. But that's money they don't readily receive. Get that. So they upgraded. They weren't looking at the fact they upgraded to his level. They were looking at the fact that they were going to upgrade, period. Whereas he was probably making decisions to see the longevity of his family strife being taken away. But they didn't care. Hold on. Okay. I see you. All right. But you get how that works. It's deeper than that. It's deeper. That's why I said the mastermind most likely won't even be connected to the scenario in any way, shape, or form. That's why I wanted to see the pictures. You see, definitely, I know who the manager and the management was. But it's not even at that level right now. We're looking at somewhere deeper in the confolds. We're digging in the prize box. And there's a box of nerds and you're looking for the red one. The one you like. Or let's say annihilators. Nihilators. Nihilators. So we call it nihilators here. Now we're looking for nihilators. And you're looking for the red one. And a box of blue ones. That's what we're doing right now. Because there is a red one in there. Which means that there was a deeper motive. That may not have been expressly place but it still was an ideology that was left out of the confolds because they're looking at who was in action not who was behind the scenes calling the shots so we have to look for relations and relative information that may lead to there being a deeper motive altogether if no one has that expressly available then we don't really know who could have made these decisions? We'd have to know who had the rights to his music after, who had the rights to his last album, who had the rights to his online growth. These things are going to lead us to a deeper motive. Not saying those people are exactly involved, but it is saying that this is a potential issue and a potential situation that would allow us to see deeper implications of people involved, deeper implications of who mattered and who saw their value growing off of his deceased status you see and that's why i said it's deeper than that but we're going to get into it a little bit more i have another angle to hit that's going to be side by side that's going to jump back and forth that's why i spoke on things how i did but you know how i rock all right sincere.